BP contractor turns whistleblower, interactive maps track oil spill in the Gulf, and Adrian Grenier swims with the fishes. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Tuesday, July 13th. Former contractor turned whistleblower Adam Dillon used to have an important job at BP, blocking reporters from oiled beaches. But he was fired by BP after taking photos of the top secret unapproved chemical formulas used to break up the oil. Dillon said he was sacked by BP 12 hours after taking those photos, but not before being confined and interrogated. While Dillon praised his hardworking crew and co-workers, he describes BP as being full of cutthroat individuals, only concerned with making money. Dillon purportedly came clean because his loyalty to the country was greater than his loyalty to BP. Now, here's Carl Burkhardt with TechWatch. Despite BP's efforts to keep information from the American public, a steady stream of mapping data is now giving us a much clearer picture of what is really going on in the Gulf. The Gulf Coast Spill Coalition just launched a map with four data sources, including independent boat owners, NOAA, and university-run Gulf Coast Ocean Observing System. USA Today offers an interactive map that overlays fishing bans, animal kills, and the number of closed beaches. The map reveals curious discrepancies between the areas closed for fishing and coastal recreation areas which have been kept open despite oil washing ashore. Gulf residents take a look before heading to the beach. Thanks Carl. And finally, it turns out America's obsession with sushi has resulted in a rather raw deal for fish, especially the nigh extinct Atlantic bluefin tuna. Thank goodness Entourage star Adrian Grenier is shining the spotlight on these magnificent creatures in a PSA for Oceana. Bluefin tuna numbers have decreased 97% over the past 40 years. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.